Well, the senior leadership programme came about um, as well some conversations I'd had when I still worked in local government, and we recognised there were a strand of managers that didn't have the opportunities for development. Frontline staff, first line managers, there's a lot of training out there. But actually, our senior leaders are in bespoke jobs and they need some bespoke training. And the, and the environment that they're now working in, it's volatile, new partnerships, a very pressured environment, was to give them tools that would give them confidence to act as council and senior leaders in these negotiations with partners and in delivering change within their own organisation. I, I think there's a need there for that that so many things have changed in local government, particularly in adult social care. The work, particularly partners with health, uh, mean that we are sending staff into environments that they haven't been developed and trained for before and trying to work through on their own. Um, we felt strongly there was a need for them to operate as senior council leaders representing the council as a whole, as much as adult social care, to be able to support councils as shapers of their environment, not just providers of services. I'm the group manager for Warsaw um, Metropolitan Borough um, and I'm the group manager there. Basically what I've found from the programme is it's given me an opportunity to one, network with other people who are like-minded, it's given me the opportunity to explore some of my ideas that I've kept quite in, inward, um, but it's given me a safe place to actually experiment with some of those ideas, vocalise them, share them with the group and actually get feedback from colleagues. Hi, I'm, I'm Mark Greenwood, I'm the Head of Business Systems at Coventry City Council. This has just been a good opportunity to get with like-minded people and look at how we can um, collectively tackle issues and, and challenges that we all face together but we never get the opportunity as a group of, of like-minded peers to actually come together and, and work through some of those issues collectively. So I think that's been a real benefit of the group is getting together, working with like-minded people and, and seeing what opportunities we can start to take forward collectively. I think a lot of what we learnt of the, the course of the actual programme itself has been how we, um, our personal style, our behaviours, how we work and influence change at, uh, across our own organisations but also without working with partners. So it's been a real opportunity to think about, I think, your own personal style, how you then shape that style to different situations and scenarios and look at how we can, uh, how we can get the best out, out, of, uh, out of the work that we undertake for our organisations. really good actually. One of the things that I've found is that leadership development is difficult to get across at our level. We are expected to kind of grow into the role and meeting people at the same level, going through that same kind of challenge and having that more strategic sense of uh, what we should be doing has been very much what we've got out of the piece. Anthony Begley, I'm the Director of Adult Services and Housing here at Shropshire Council. I'm also the co-chair of West Midlands uh, Regional Branch of ADAS. So I think in terms of en encouraging, supporting and developing that next layer uh, of management, that, that, that next cohort of, of aspirational leaders uh, in the sector, it, it, it's, it's so critical. What I think this does, the 3D Leadership Programme, it does something a little bit more, something a little bit different. Than, than training courses, more traditional sort of training courses, and it really looks, I guess, at the things that you, you don't learn on, on training courses. This is much more around a dialogue, this is much more around that, that intuitive conversation. Uh, we bring together like-minded people, we learn from each other, we bring together expertise from other industries, and hopefully that generates 
a, a real feel of, of drive and enthusiasm amongst, amongst people that have been involved. So it's been really popular and really well received by those people that have, have been involved in the cohorts and certainly from, from my perspective in terms of that co-creation and delivery, it's just been a, been a pleasure and the, the results I think have exceeded all expectations. It, it, it's probably not what they can learn from a textbook perspective, it's those things that it's often very difficult to pick up, perhaps some of the political nuances of how you land an idea within the public sector or how you drive forward uh, a particular agenda to, to greatest effect. It's about socialising new ideas, uh, it's about engaging people at all sorts of different levels within a local authority but, but just as important with, with key partners, so across a health and social care economy, those kind of influencing skills are, are, are critical as we move forward in the, those partnership arrangements. But also for me it's about understanding how we can build relationships with non-related sectors, how we can learn uh, from other industries about just the best way to move forward and recognising that the way we deliver adult social care in the future is going to be considerably different than the way it is at the moment.